So you may have heard about this, but Linux is getting its own blue screen of death. And this is coming from the system D guys. And I have been talking about a graceful fail for Linux for literal ages. Basically ever since I've created my channel, I've talked about it several times how when Linux fails, usually when it does so, it, it freaks the fuck out. You know, you're either in a kernel loop or things, you know, just walls and walls of text, all this stuff, right? I've talked about how they needed some way of gracefully failing into something that tells you what went wrong or what you can do if you're going to fail, if it fails, right? What, 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 you, what next step you should take, right? So I've talked about this, but I honestly have something else to talk about today, and it's just a little bit of a rant. Uh, this was going to be a YouTube short, as you can tell, I obviously suck at shorts. That's the reason why I've just decided to do it in this format. But that is beside the point. Let's just talk about the elephant in the damn room. Why did they choose the color blue? There was a group of developers that sat around a digital table. Because, you know, they're not in the same room probably. And they th had this choice to make. We're going to have a graceful fail for Linux. When something goes wrong, we're going to default to a screen of some kind that tells the user that something went horrifically wrong and we need to reboot your system or your hard drive has failed or whatever. We're going to do this. We're going to finally institute this graceful fail system. And the decision they sat around and made when it came around to choose what color they were going to use was blue. Now, I don't know about y'all, but... That was the wrong choice. <laughs> that was the wrong choice. And here's the reason why it was wrong. If you are a Windows user of the past, and the vast majority of Linux users are, and you're anything like me, you probably have a little bit of PTSD when it comes to blue screens of death. Yeah, I said it. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder about a blue screen. Because we all, as Windows users, worried about this mythical screen that only popped up when anything went wrong. And there's a reason why blue gives us a little bit of nightmares. Because we expect, when we see that flash of blue, that something on our computer literally blew up. Or Windows shat the bed. Whatever had to have happened. We saw the blue screen death and it was always spelling trouble. Well, Linux, in its ever ongoing quest to become Windows, decided that they had to also have a blue screen of death. Why? Under all that is holy, did it have to be blue? There are a whole bunch of other colors. I mean, a whole bunch of other colors that they could have chosen. Literally anything other than blue. Now they're going to have us all be triggered every time we see this this come up on our screen. Now, maybe that's what they did. It on, they, maybe they did that on purpose because we all associate blue with our computer's dead. Oh no, what are we going to do? Maybe that's why they've chosen it because blue is the t color of death. Maybe that's the reason why they've chosen it. If so, good on them. Also, Gonna scare the crap out of everyone when this first comes up for them the first time. So, mission accomplished, I guess. But also, why blue? It could have been any other color. Now, we're all just going to have to live with our very own blue screens of death. And by the way, what you're seeing on screen is not the actual blue screen of death. But the reason why I chose this particular shot to show on the screen is because even The Verge finds this fucking hilarious that Linux is now getting the blue screen of death that they covered. And The Verge doesn't cover Linux all that often. Usually when they do, it's only the Steam Deck that gets covered. Anything else with desktop Linux, you don't find on The Verge. They don't know how to use Linux. They barely know how to use Windows. They're all Mac guys. So the fact that they covered it is just kind of going to show you that, yeah, this is kind of fucking hilarious. Also, why blue? I'm just going to be asking that for the, the next five or six years. Why blue? They could have chosen another color. Anyways, that's it for this video. I know as it was a little bit different, you didn't get to see my face because, like I said, I was going to try to do this in a minute. Obviously, going on five minutes wasn't going to happen. Why blue? Why blue? Thanks for watching.